it's not a single question and there is no single answer to that. Uh, I, would, I would say that uh, what we now consider media will uh, somehow uh, exist for next 20 to 30 to 50 years. That could be both paper, television, digital, f sort of current digital forms, social mm -hmm. forms and so on. But the really new media forms are emerging right now and they are device dependent. We are in the period of complete device change. And change of device means change of interface, change of brain interface, change of cognition, and change of consumption. And therefore, new proportion is not unpredictable. I mean, I, I, would, I would never try to predict the mix of media consumption in five years. I can tell you what journalists will be doing, but I, I would not say how, how popular what he's doing will be and wh where he will get the biggest audience. I, I've asked you about media literacy. Uh, whether you consider you mean media literacy uh, because I think it all comes from a basic education and uh, we live in the extraordinary infected world by media we consume media in different forms about 100 hours per week we sleep less we work less we, we don't make sex that often and and media is a form of our brain existence right now. We think much less than we consume. Therefore, I think the next big thing would be a media literacy as a basic, basic K-5 education. And will continue into more advanced forms uh, in the older stages. And it will also transform the uh, assortment of knowledge that PR, communication, journalist, media manager, should have to complete the job and that will be immense change it's already happening actually mm -hmm. generally startups is just a fashion right now uh, and this that that's a hot item on the agenda as uh, telecoms were 10 years ago you're just young to remember uh, and uh, 20 years ago these were service companies and uh, uh, b2b services and things like that 30 years ago, this were another type of, um, I don't know, probably mi rare earth mining or whatever. Uh, that's just a business fashion. I mean, uh, that, that is a segment where profiteering is still, is still very interesting. In most of other areas, we can build uh, financial models, business models, which will last for centuries, but not in communications, not in uh, media services, not in consumption. These are, th these are things in under, under immense change. I mean, uh, could you imagine Instagram being offered in the same time when Polaroid cameras appeared? No. Because there is no concept of, cha of sharing these photographs. These were private. And, and, uh, and now this company has been sold for $1 billion. So startup is an interesting zone where business and money and financial markets could earn big profits. And therefore, it's, it attracts more attention. It also is a kind of a, a model for the future business. And I mean, every, every place in the world wants to look like Silicon Valley. They, every place in the world wants climate of Silicon Valley uh, and uh, probably Stanford University as a complementary service. But in general, that's mostly about post-industrial -post culture, which just comes with it. And as far as communication is concerned, startups are, are not that different from, from the other companies. They're just small and very, very adventurous. Well, to give you, to give you kind, of a, kind of a smile in the end, imagine what PR services Christopher Columbus would need to sell his trip. That's it. Every communication consists of message, coding, transport, and decoding. I mean, I cannot control the brain of the receiver of the message, yeah? But that's, that's, that's what I control as a, as a source. First of all, if you want to communicate your message, you, you should understand how you deliver it. First, you have to understand how you deliver it. Then. Regarding the channel, you have to fine-tune the message because medium is the message. That's, that's, that's absolute axiom. And then be very creative about how you package your message into, in, in, into form. That could be your personality. That could be 
your behavior. That could be your product, that could be a service, that could be your public speaking, social networks, public media, I mean, legacy media, everything. I mean, we've seen such a numerous examples uh, from, from, from very, very different industries just in these two days. I mean, Chinese producers of uh, mobile gaming uh, making appearance on the popular TV show and his products jump into first positions in Apple Store. Uh, people doing uh, legacy PR and also achieving results. People creating uh, a product that is advertising and, 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 and it's becoming, becoming their communication vehicle. It's all about creativity and picture. I think that pressure, positive pressure, the freedom pressure, is always a good thing to do. Because we ought to be good. And even if our venture is not successful immediately, first of all, our dignity is reflected in, in, in what, we, what we do. As a member of a couple of industrial associations, some of them deal with the freedom of speech and so on, I, I definitely v always vote for every, every attempt to, to protect uh, freedom of speech. Mm. That's, that's a basic human right and, 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 and digital on, only makes it more, more obvious. Regarding China, I think it's China as every other, other, uh, other country in the world is under, undergoing a magnificent change in communication structure. Probably because of size it's just slower. But it's, it's already a different country. I mean if you haven't been to China, I mean they have their ecosystem they already managed to, um, to bypass the censorship. I mean, the freedom of the speech at a certain point exists even in China. Even in, even in North Korea, I think, it, it exists a certain point. It exists in Russia, which, which also is not in a very good shape as a state in terms of these things. But the problem is that, uh, that, that freedom, freedom requires some bravery, some devotion, some, some victims, fortunately. I liked it very much. I liked the size of event because it's um, it's compact, but it's not small. It's compact, and the, the comp compactness is is a very good thing for uh, internal communications. I mean, we have a lot of subjects that that has to be discussed in 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 a sort of in a discussion that is very private. It's not because we, we hide something from, from our clients, from, 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 from other people. We just need time to, to speak between ourselves about that. So I like, I mean, it's, 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 it's a good format and, and a very good f idea how the sessions are, 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 are organized as far as the organization is mm -hmm. concerned. And I, the place is great.